In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a $20 mechanical keyboard kit. Yep, you heard right, this keyboard kit is only $20. But is it any good? Stay tuned to find out. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm your host, Brian Stormy, typing up a storm. Before we start the video, only a small percentage of those that watch my video are actually subscribed. So if you enjoyed today's video, consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. With that being said, enjoy the video. The TES-68 Switch Tester Kit is the latest keyboard project by Nufi and CIY. Like I mentioned in the intro, the kit is only $20, which is considered really cheap in the mechanical keyboard hobby. So keep that in mind throughout the review, as they did have to make some compromises to keep the price super affordable. One of the features that makes this keyboard unique to any of the other keyboards that I've reviewed on the channel so far is that it does not support wired connection. Instead, it is powered by two AAA batteries and you can use either Bluetooth 5.0 or the 2.4G wireless mode with the dongle. Also, since this is a keyboard kit, it does not include switches or keycaps. Nufi does have optional add-ons including CIY EVO red switches and their Coast keycaps. Nufi sent me these switches, so we'll be reviewing them later, but not the keycaps so I'll be using my own keycaps for the build. Alright, let's move on to the unboxing. The TES-68 comes in a pretty standard packaging box. Inside you have a user manual which says GK-68, so I'm assuming that this is an OEM. You also have some stickers for the case and your keyboard. Just FYI, it did not include a keycap or switch puller, so you'll need some for your build. I ended up getting their beach stone colorway, but you also have 4 other case options including aqua, orange, fluorescent yellow, and black. These are made out of ABS plastic, and my favorite would have to be the orange and the fluorescent yellow. Unfortunately, I won't be able to change my beach stone case to any of the other colors because they didn't come with the parts inside the battery compartments. But if you do end up getting this keyboard kit, I would recommend getting one of the colorful ones as it does bring out more character to the board. The design of the case is pretty standard with a 6.5 degrees typing angle and a tray mount design. You have 4 rubber feet in the back with the switch for the on and off and the battery compartment on the top middle. You can also put the stickers from earlier in the middle of the case. The plate is made up of aluminum and you unscrew a couple of screws on the plate to take apart the keyboard. You don't really need to do this for your build since you can mod stabilizers without taking apart the keyboard and just put on switches and keycaps. But I wanted to see what was inside. To my surprise, the keyboard included a silicone dampening between the PCB and the plate. I think that this was a really nice detail and brings in a lot of value for the price. And then you have your hot swap PCB which supports 5 pin switches, but it is north facing. Beneath the PCB, you have your regular phone and some wires that connect to the battery. It would have been nice to see some silicone dampening here as well instead of the phone. Next for the stabilizers, they are plate mount and came unlooped. I did notice that they were very tight on the plate, which is good for these stabs, but it might affect the tolerance if you were to replace these with other playmount stabs like Duroc or Cherry. Anyways, since they do come unlooped, they sound rattly at first, but with a bit of modding and looping, it can sound a lot better. Moving on to the switches, I was actually impressed by the packaging that it came in as it was in a plastic tub. I'm used to my switches coming in a plastic bag, so this was another nice detail that Nufi included to make the experience more enjoyable. The CUI EVO red switch is a linear switch with an operating force of around 42 grams and a bottom out force of around 60 grams. I didn't have an opportunity to loop them this time around because I was busy finishing finals for school. But these switches feel pretty similar to most other red switches. 
They have a slight scratchiness to them, but they're not bad. Looping will definitely help reduce the scratchiness. For the keycaps, I ended up using the Polycaps Black on White PBT keycaps for a simple, clean look. I have reviewed these in the past, and you can check it out in this video. So here's how the build turned out. Everything was pretty straightforward, and I think that this keyboard is a pretty good deal for $20. A lot of people are always asking me for a budget option, and if you're new to the mechanical keyboard scene, this is a great budget option to test out various switches to find out which one you like. It has hot swap, and I do like the various case color options that they offer. At first, I was kind of surprised that they didn't have wired USB mode, but I know that some people prefer a wireless keyboard, so if you're one of those people, I don't think you'll be missing out too much by not having a wired USB mode. So whether you're a no cable type of person or an office working employee, I do see situations where this fits perfectly. Personally, I had no issues using this wirelessly with my PC, but as always, your experience may vary from mine. I also really like the addition of small details like the silicone dampening between the plate and PCB. With some mods, you can definitely get a lot of value with this keyboard, especially for the price. Before I show you the sound test, I just want to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed today's video. I got a lot more exciting content coming up that you do not want to miss. Also, go follow my socials like Instagram and TikTok. Big thanks to Nufi for sending out the product for review. I've been your host, Brian Stormy, typing up a storm, and until next time, stay safe and take care.